What's going on, world? It's your boy Big Chips here. And I'm here with two other little uh, schmeckeroonies here that are going to help us do some talkings today. So we have two, my immediate, I guess it would be my left on this one, will be Miss Kathleen Superstar Packard. And to her immediate left, we're going to have Mr. Steve Bisnut Bond. Oh, hey. How you doing, baby? Hey man, I'm doing fantastic, man. It's me, the business. Listen, guys, I uh, I gotta tell you what's happening here. You guys are making fun of me. That's not funny. Here's the dealio. Here's what really happened. You know me, Captain Q Card over here. I had one of these things going today. I was so excited doing a video. I actually poked myself in the eye with a cue card. So I decided to put on these safety glasses to keep any kind of accidents, any internet marketing movie related in happening in this house. This is dangerous stuff. Cue cards, pens, ink. Man, there's some sharp objects around here. I got a sticky pad. I don't even know what kind of material they're using on here. If I run my tongue on this thing like it's an envelope, I'm probably going to catch something. I don't even know. But anyways, guys, how's that? That's a little bit more like the business right there. Well, we have our very first special guest on the show today, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. Right over here. Everyone say hi to Kathleen. Hi, Kathleen. You gotta go so to the other side. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're poking the wrong way, Steve. <laughs> am I? Am I not mirrored? Oh yeah, no you, way. You got. You got to poke to your right. There you go. There you go. Now you. Yeah. Poking. There. I felt that that time. <laughs> I'm not mirrored. That's why. Oh, family, family, family. We have got some awesome, awesome stuff today. We're going to start incorporating, bringing folks on who make a difference in this community and people who stand out to want to help people. I do want to give a quick, quick shout out to one of my homies who is celebrating a birthday today, Mr. Moku. Happy oh, birthday, brother. Damn. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Moku. Awesome. Yeah. And this virus database has been updated. I don't know if you heard that or not. My update on my security here. <laughs> I thought that was you. I was like, has been updated. Is that on a thumbtack. So this show is brought to you by my local hick town Starbucks kiosk, who makes the best coffee I've ever had out of all the Starbucks. So Starbucks, send us a little bit of love. We'll we'll promote you a little bit. Right on. Good. That's nice. Awesome, man. Hey, I'm excited for today, man. I had a fantastic day this morning. I'm having a better afternoon this afternoon hanging out with you guys. I always get so excited, man, when we do our show today. And listen, we've only been doing this for a little while, but I am feeling that there are some success stories popping up out of nowhere, man. I got a couple of emails today that says, Steve, we've been following the show. Appreciate everything you're putting out there. You and Jeremy are the bomb. Can you give me any more tips and tricks? And I said, sure we can. Are you kidding me? We got an entire the entire package, man, we're putting together German. I've been working on this for a while now, and it's starting to come to my favorite word, fruition, man. Fruition. We are starting to put this thing, package it all together, and in fact, we've been doing some dry runs on some of our favorite family members, and we have one, look at this, right way, right over here. It's Kathleen, man. She did some of the training, some of the background stuff, popped online with us for a little while to get it is what it feels like to be hanging out with the business, Mr. Big Chips. And Kathleen, we wanted to bring you here today so that you could share a little bit about what it feels like to make that first big sale, and I do want to call it that. It's a big sale, man. You did. You did a fantastic, fantastic effort, man. You you put into practice every single thing that Jeremy and I taught you when we teach you. We, we shared all the little tips and tricks that we uh, felt would help you out where you were at with your marketing, and I think it really, really paid off. How do you how do you feel about that? I feel oh, really good about hold it. Hold on a second. Let me get oh. this loaded real fast oh. first. This sucks when nothing goes right when you got something to do that's going to be fun, and uh, what do you got? Google. Okay, let's say this before we get started because I really want to bring her in. Google has updated completely, so most of us who have Gmail, we found out yesterday mid lunchtime that they have officially changed everything up. So if you do Google Hangouts, they've changed it. So, you know, I had us uh, some pimplicious little uh, lower third things that, mm -hmm. here we go, that hang out right here, and it didn't work, so we were stuck here. Although this, this does look kind of nice. I do like that. It just, it sucks. So for those who use Google Hangout, they have changed the platform and updated and erased all presets. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kathleen Packard. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so tell you us, guys. Kathleen, uh, I know I cut you off in what Steve was saying, but you have went from 
a, a place of frustration and a place where you knew and you know what to do. You just had some stumbling blocks, you know, like like we all do. And what I know a lot of people want to hear is how did you how did you do it? How did you do it? I uh, I took your advice <laughs> with after we um, had met and put into practice, just like you said, you know, get clear on what I wanted to do and be consistent with it. Be just keep putting myself out there and um, keep going with it every single day. Um, sticking with it. it. It's it's basically the 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 thing I think that made the difference was getting out of my shell because I was afraid to, to step outside of the box. I was afraid to, to put myself out there. And um, after talking and working with you guys for a little bit, why it's like, okay, now these guys are watching me. I need to do this because, you know, it's like having that little bit of push behind you that says it's okay. That's pretty deep, and I know a lot of people who watch, and uh, I actually have a couple of newbies that may not be able to get on right now to watch, but they'll watch the replay, that are saying that same thing where they don't know where to begin, and they're thrown into a mix of a bunch of hodgepodge type or offer deals, programs, whatever it is they want to throw at you, and Steve, you can actually speak on this. I know we talk about it a lot. But when you first start, you kind of go with what a mentor, no, I wouldn't even say a mentor, where someone who may know a little bit more than you and they feel more secure, I guess the way, the best way to explain it is they dominate the conversation where they tell you they have a certainty about something. And they tell you, you got to have this, you got to buy that, you got to run with this. So, I mean, I'm sure Steve can talk about that and lead back into Kathleen and let her share her story, too. Absolutely, I will. So I'll steal this for a second, guys, and listen. Here's the deal. Here's something that when Kathleen mentioned something. It just painted an absolute picture of something that happened in my mind almost 20 years ago to the day. It was October in 1993 when I joined the military, started boot camp. One of the very first things I had to do to prove that I was you know, eligible to be in the military was go through this little obstacle course, okay? And I had to get up over this really steep wall. And, you know, I was a little scrawny guy. I was like maybe you know, 110 pounds or something and, and I had this backpack it was like 45 kilograms and I couldn't get over this wall it was too heavy I was giving it everything I had right and all I needed all I needed was the littlest push from somebody from behind me just a little bit of help to get over that wall it wasn't that that person was picking up the 45 kilogram backpack off my back or my 110 pound wet butt it wasn't that whole thing together it was just giving me that little bit of extra effort to get up over that hump over that wall and that made all the difference in the world Physically, that is what got me through this. Mentally, it was the same thing with Kathleen. She was 99% there. We just guided her through that last little bit. She already had all the all the know-how, all everything. The skill was all there, everything. And Kathleen, as soon as you busted through, as soon as you, you came through, your videos, darling, were just the absolute crazy bomb. I love I look forward to them. And I know we got lots of people watching. And I watch a lot of people's videos every day. But I'm telling you, Kathleen, you have found a magic spot. I hope. That you stick with this because you've definitely found your gold mine. You are Thank turning you. into a video queen, and you have got to keep that up. I, I get so excited. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I get so excited when I think about you doing those videos. I can't help it. My <laughs> Anyways, Kathleen, that was all it took. So getting over that hump that you you were already set, my dear. You were all ready to go. You had so much good stuff going for you. It was just that little bit of a push that we gave you in the right direction. That's the hard part to find. And once you got it. You ran with it, and you've been doing it ever since, and we are so proud of you. So proud of you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> uh, you're, you're so the I know on a personal, yeah, right, on a personal conversation that we had when we had our little session together, we, we've seen a lot of stuff of hodgepodge stuff thrown together, Miss Kathleen. And, it you know, sure was. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, how is it that, you know, not mentioning names or programs or any of that kind of stuff, but you know, when you first start, you get kind of thrown into that, and that's what you you feel led to do because someone, I guess, maybe told you it would work. Or, you know, can you talk on that a little bit on how you got started doing what you did before? Yeah, because you know, you you're out there searching, and so you find something, and then you 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 become distracted. 
and then you think, well, I need this, or this over here will add to that. And before you know it, you've got a whole bunch of things, but you haven't really put any one of them into a full, full-fledged full play. And so now you've got this conglomerate, which now you don't know which direction to go in. You, you, you know, you only have so many hours a day. You only have so many people that you can promote to. And if you don't stick with something, that, that gives consistency so that they know what you're all about, pretty soon you ain't, you're, you're not about anything. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you don't have any faith in yourself either. And one of the things I think that, that really has made the difference, and especially when I reached out and, and to you guys especially, was that, and we talked about it when we, we, when we met, was that Everybody always wants to reach for the guy that's at the top, but you're not going to get any help from that person necessarily because they've already made it. They've already too far far up the ladder to give you that that start that you really need, that help, that that just that just like you said, that little bit of a push that makes you feel confident in what you're doing. So by reaching out to somebody that was ahead of me, you know, but not so far that um, they wouldn't think that I was too far down to, to save or to get going. Um, it made all the difference in the world because it, I understood the language, I understood what I was to do next, and it was systematic and it just, it just made a whole big difference. Mentally, it made a whole big difference. Mm -hmm. It a change life. I think the big thing, number one, I know this is off subject, but I want to say I love that daggum whiteboard in the background. I see that take action <laughs> up there. I don't know if y'all see that or not, but I, I see things. I, I, I'm visualizing, but one thing that she, she said and what I want people to understand is, you know, people go online and they're looking for the guru. They're like, I'm going to get with the guru. They're going to give me everything. They're going to hold my hand, walk me across the finish line. And I fell victim to that myself, where all I wanted to do was chase the David Woods of the world, and they weren't there to help me. And they're never going to be there to help you unless you go all in, unless you do everything that they tell you to do before this, before that, which is what you got to do. I mean, they give you a series of steps, and they – they tell you what you need and what you don't need. Not knocking that. But it comes to this personal, this one-on-one -on -one time or being able to say, look, Kathleen, I've been where you are. And to anybody watching, I've been where you are. Steve's been there. Mm -hmm. You know, together we're actually breaking barriers of like years that I've spent online trying to do things and suffering where he's actually got the chance now, I guess I should be pointing that way, but now he's got the chance where he can come on and do in three months what's taken me a couple of years to really focus my mind to even fathom what to do. And the problem of it is, is one thing that you know both Steve was saying and what Kathleen was saying jump, jumped in together is it's all information overload. And this is what's wrong with this industry is everybody wants to throw something at you. Well, this is what you got to learn now. You got to learn this. 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 And then you're just sitting here swimming. And like she said, distracted, not knowing which way to go. Mm -hmm. And it's not to knock a program or an opportunity or a leader because I know that I get too busy for some of my own team. And then I'm like, you know, let me sit down, let me take a couple minutes, see what it is you're dealing with, have you done what we said? You know, and the problem of it is a lot of these these free things and free sessions and times where you just you give somebody something, nine times out of ten they don't always do it. So although it sounds kind of cliche to charge somebody, but sometimes you do it and you're like, you give them everything. And when they think that dollar has been spent on that minute, that hour, that time frame, it becomes important. They start to listen. They start to take notes and take action, and it becomes a lifestyle from then on out. And some of us, Steve, 
got to point the other way, Steve. Buying all these programs because somebody said, oh, man, you're going to need this, you're going to need that, buy this over here. And you really, some of them you do need, but you don't need it as much as you need to learn what Kathleen's talking about, and that's congruency. That's, as she said, she didn't want to do it. She was kind of scared, intimidated to jump herself out there in front of all of you and to do what she knew she needed to do. But the information overload had her going this way, that way, upwards, downwards, everywhere in between. And it's all about focus. What is important to you? Mm -hmm. What is your intention? What is your goal? What is your mission? What is your North Star? What are you focusing on to run your business to go after? And I, I shot a video on, uh, uh, crap, I don't want to talk about it because I just did it for today's video challenge. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. But, you know, from I get a lot of religious people that tell me what the way that I say things are wrong. That I say focus on attention and God will bring forth the fruit. And that's all backwards and it's not. It actually aligns with the Bible. And if you read the Bible, people, and if you're watching this, if you read the Bible, you'll read every single piece of it in there, too. But they're talking about when they came out of the desert and they're rebuilding the temple, you know, and I, I don't even know the, how to say the guy's name. It's like Zerubbabel or something like that. When they weren't allowed to build this temple, he had the vision. He had up here what he wanted to do, and God said, it's okay, we're going to give you this. This will come to pass. Well, he kind of got scared. He got intimidated where he didn't know which direction he was going to go. Was it going to work out? Was it not? Well, when the prophet Zechariah came, he told him, Go get the capstone. Get the capstone, put it there. That is the finish of your temple. From this point on, you look at this capstone and you focus, you set your intentions. You see what I'm saying? You set your intentions and your North Star becomes that capstone and it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It will come to pass. I'm, I'm sweating over this one. You get so excited over these things, man. I always like to sit back. And I wasn't afraid to interrupt in case you're going to, like, you know, blow a nodule in your noodle or something. You get so focused on the stuff. This is why I like working with Jeremy because he's really determined about, about you know, finishing something off to a high standard. Thank you, Jeremy, for that one. I, <laughs> I love the way I love you, the passion. You did. That's where he gets it from, you know what? And I and I get a lot of things from him, too, and that's part of it. That's the other half of, of the show is me that, that brings the other side of the coin, and that is... And that's this year. I mean, you talked about, yeah, like in the beginning I did the same little mistakes that a lot of people made, okay? But I was lucky enough to have found you. I, I found Jeremy. He took me under his wing. Thank you for that, Jeremy. And that's the thing that Kathleen touched on as well about when you see guys at the very top, which is not Jeremy. Jeremy's not at the very top, which is probably 90% of the reason why he is helping me, okay? That's not to knock you at all, Jeremy. I'm just saying that those guys that are making, you know, eight, nine, ten figures a year, okay? You're right. Kathleen's right. They are not going to pick up the phone and say, hey, hey, Steve, hey, Kathleen, Jeremy, tell, tell me about your problems. I mean, what, what can I do for you today? How can I help you out, okay? But they were, they were in the same position we were years ago. They started the exact same spot we did, okay, and somebody helped them. They also, they also all helped somebody else along the way. They all did. There is no one internet marketing guru, no you know, online entrepreneur out there who has not helped somebody else along the way. I don't believe it. You know, I refuse to believe that we're in that kind of community. So the way you become greatly successful, I believe in my eyes, is by helping other people. Okay, so the people that we follow, the people that are above us, like Kathleen said, there's people who are just one notch above us, but they have all helped and they're all there extending their hand to help other people. It's the, it's the tip of the pyramid, the pointy end of the sword, those guys that are way at the very top, okay, that we're all striving to, to become or be like. Yeah, those people don't necessarily have the time to always give us a handout. That's, uh, that's acceptable. That's 100% 100 acceptable. I get that. I totally get that. However, I bet you 100 bucks. I'll bet you my whole paycheck that they do have a system or some program or a training platform out there that does guide and give their their uh, training, their uh, reassurance, their concepts, their ideas. I'm sure all of those people have put together a platform or a training coaching program, something at some point that is giving back. And the best part about this, guys, is that it's giving back on a fully automated scale. It's something that you can just you can just literally purchase yourself. 
take it under your own, you know, put it online in your home, sit back, relax in a house coat, have a coffee or a Starbucks, our, you know, our sponsor for today, and watch these things and learn from them to take something away from it. So before I turn it back to Kathleen so that she can tell us all about how excited she is about her big sale, let me all just say this. Jeremy, you nailed it as well when you said that when you put a dollar value into a couple of minutes, let's call it an hour, or with Kathleen, let's call it two, right? As soon as you put a dollar value into a couple of hours, people grab that pen, they grab that paper, they sit a little more intently in front of it. This is not a recording, this is not a video, this is a live person on the other end of that digital webcam that's taking the time to teach, to provide you with all the wealth of knowledge, you know, so you can disregard all the mistakes you've ever made in the past and all the ones that Jeremy and I have made in the past and get right down to brass tacks and learn exactly what it is you came here to do. And I love the fact, Kathleen, that when you showed up, my gosh, my dear, you were so ready on fire to learn. You, were, you took in everything. You didn't argue a single point. You didn't go, yeah, but, yeah, but. I love the fact that you were like the most studious student in the whole wide universe and you are setting precedent of all the kinds of, of academic all-stars that we want to have, you know, as students. You are, you are the best. You, is, you are what have guided Jeremy and I the last couple weeks to look at each other and say, you know what, we have something here. Kathleen has walked out of this with a very shiny back end. And we have <laughs> got to make sure that we can replicate this and do this for everybody. So, Kathleen, can you tell me, I want to hear from you. That morning you woke up and you checked your, your inbox and you saw that cha-ching thing. What did you, did you even know that it was a big, a big sale or not I so did, much? I did not. I was excited. I thought it was just the fourteen ninety five membership. I was excited. I was dancing around thinking I had somebody that, that believed enough in what I was sharing with them that they would join the apprentice level. Um, I was just really, I was so happy. And that, <laughs> that afternoon, because I didn't go in, and that's, that's all it said in the email was apprentice. Now, the <laughs> afternoon, my apprentice posts in the uh, community that he's excited to get started with the $10 million plus, Solomon $10 million plus. Well, I can't tell you how fast I went to the computer, <laughs> and my fingers were like, what? <laughs> when, when I opened that email, it opened up my back office, and that commission was sitting in there, I about like lost my breath, and I'm up dancing all around the room, and I couldn't get to the computer fast enough to, to, to um, get you guys posted that... My awesome tutors were, you know, helped me through this, and it was like, wow. <laughs> and, and I'm still reeling in it. <laughs> That's awesome. Gary and I were throwing so many cap locks messages back and forth <laughs> on the chat. We were, we were, you should have seen what. Well, we got to be honest, though. We were sitting on a hangout, and we were doing this show <laughs> last week, and we were talking about you and, like, how, how exciting it was, and, what Kathleen's doing and her videos are rocking and she's doing everything we talked about and like I just know she's going to bust the cell soon and it's just going to be like wildfire just just setting the whole room on fire and I mean sure as heck the second week I hit in broadcast I look over at my messages bam there's yeah. Kathleen and I mean she's just and I'm like, like we're jumping for joy, and we're like, yeah, woo! And so you know, the one thing I want to make sure I express is both of us, Steve, myself, we were so elated and jumping for joy for you that you made this sell, and like we're telling everybody and we're talking to somebody, and literally it wasn't until, I don't even know who said it, but somebody looked at me and said, but you didn't get that sale. Why are you so happy? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I didn't make a sale, did I? I said, yes, I did. And I'm like, you know, you invest yourself in people, and when you see people doing something that good, when your heart is pure, okay, and that's the difference, people. We're not in it just to make a dollar to help people. We're doing it to make sure we put our all into you when we have that time together. And for someone like Kathleen, who knew, she, I mean, even in our discussion, she knew what she was doing. She knew what she wanted. She knew the path. Mm -hmm. She just wasn't walking it. And, you know, 
and I don't want you to talk about me being a hard ass either. But, okay. <laughs> We're gonna leave that one off. Nobody else is listening but me and you. No, no, we all know. I don't. I don't bust balls. Okay, so y'all, y'all don't talk about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, but you know, you you critique things and you see things, and it, it allows us the the intimate. It's like going out to dinner with somebody you care about, and you're sitting down and you're really looking at them, talking to them. I mean, even now as we're talking, taking notes of stuff that really calls out on what people are struggling with. And I, I just I do. <laughs> I do it. <laughs> For me it's just it it was it was an unbelievable feeling because we were just talking about you on the show. We were just talking about we just knew you were gonna do good things and I mean sure enough, bam, you were there. Ticket. And I'm yeah. a big ticket. So I mean yeah, that's true, yeah. The real value seven hundred seventy seven dollars and fifty cents. That's in. huge. I wasn't gonna start talking the money, but listen, the the big <laughs> value we got out of this guys is everybody watching this either today, tomorrow, or somewhere down the road is gonna see and feel exactly what's coming through the screen right now. And that's our smiles, that's the chicklets we got in our teeth showing. This is like nonstop crazy. So it's not just the monetary value that Kathleen or us got out of this. It really isn't. It truly isn't. And I'm so excited, that's the best part about this whole thing guys is it's not just the monetary value that you get out of this you work Kathleen so hard towards something that you you must have got something out of the journey to get there all those years of struggling or, or anything that you've had a problem you woke up that day and kind of looked online and kind of saw nothing you checked the inbox nothing there you know you look for the leads they're not there nothing's working all that time even though it's heartache and pain and misery at the same time you're grinding you're working you're traveling to get somewhere so now you can look back Okay, now you can at least start to look back and say, you know what, it definitely was worth the journey to get here today. And you smile and you feel great about it. Now the light at the, at the end of the tunnel is getting brighter every single day. You have an idea now of exactly where you need to focus, where you need to keep doing things. And you just, we, we want that to replicate and go over and over and over again. So the value that we're putting out there right now, if people are seeing it in our faces right now, it's ridiculous. That's just half the excitement of this. The other half, Jeremy, just started to touch on it, and that was the monetary value. So we're not going to start throwing numbers around, but this is how my heart feels about this. I think that that the the uh, amount of money or, uh, you know, what Kathleen put into Jeremy and I, she probably got out tenfold, I believe. I think you got more out of that than you did definitely putting into it. You know, uh, we talked about all the systems that are out there. We've all put in so much money into so many little software systems, this and that, the other thing, next best thing and stuff, okay? But truly, I really do believe, Kathleen, that you got more, way more out of out of Jeremy and I than... I, I cannot be, even begin to express that time that we spent together, what that did for me as far as... It, it was a head game. And, and you helped me pass the head game. And you can't do that alone. You, you can wallow in that for all you want, but until you reach out and, and ask for that assistance from somebody, you could stay there for, for a long, long time trying to think you can do it alone. This is not a game you do alone. This is something that, that, that takes a community and it takes somebody else because whoever's gone before you, why not use their skills, their their knowledge, and and compress that time? What the amount of money that you spend on a coach is like nothing compared to the time you would waste and the discouragement that you feel. You know, you believe in something, but but you just you just can't get there. You just you just need that that little bit of psychological push mm -hmm. <laughs> and That's that knowledge so that they can offer up. And then yeah. once you get there, it's like now you've got that feeling. You you've got something to carry you over till the next time. You've got something that really is going to help drive you to that next level. You know, it won't be the only time that I reach out because the next time I that I get really flat, I'm going to reach out again because you're still ahead of me. <laughs> you know, you still got knowledge that I need. <laughs> but, you know, and that, that's that's what uh, learning is. Learning is, and knowledge is power. And I forgot who, where the actual quote came from, knowledge is power, but the point of it is it's useless if you don't take action. And, and that's the biggest thing about this is, 
I did a post. Oh, maybe I didn't do the post. I can't remember. I'm talking about it anyway. You know, when you become an entrepreneur, you're swimming in the deep end. All right, you're in the deep part of the waters, and most of the time, when you're in that deep, you're trying to just you're you're on your back floating. You're just floating around, trying to figure out where you are, how you're going to get there. Everybody comes against you. The information overload, the people telling you you're never going to do it, your own self disbelief in yourself that I'm not doing it right, I'm not making a sale, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing. You begin to sink, and that's when you start to panic, is because you're starting to sink, and everybody's trying to pull you. Oh, come back over here to the shallow end where everybody else is standing. Come back here where it's safe, and they try to pull you away. And you just got to push through. You got to you got to stand. Well, you got to stand up, but you got to make your stand and your decision. I'm in this deep water, but I'm not gonna sink. I'm gonna swim. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it out of this. You get to this other side over here, and you get out and you look. And the whole time you were sitting here panicking about a kiddie pool. You were in four foot of water. You could have stood up and walked out. But without that extra push, without that extra, I like to call it love. It may be hard love, but it's still love. And that's what we give out, no matter if you're on our team or not. It, it, it doesn't matter. That's just how we're going to roll this thing. And for Kathleen, she's the same way. Sitting here watching where she was, you know, talking to her at the live event and finding out some of the, some of the issues. So I already knew a lot of her problems before we even got started with a session of anything because it's it's very they were very routine problems but it's how can you cater this routine problem into what is going to be, become her routine success and how can we look at this together especially Steve and I and then us get on a hangout mastermind together about what we're looking at what we're seeing and what each one of us think from two totally different perspectives yeah, I mean, it was just it yeah. was meant to be. It was destined. You know what? This is the this is the thing, Jeremy. Check this out, guys. So for every pro athlete out there, every famous singer, singer, every you know uh, world known chef and stuff, I almost guarantee you that that person got coaching or training from somebody at some point in their life. I don't care who they are. I don't care what profession you're in. But if you're really good at it, okay, you had help getting there. And if you didn't, if you're one of those, what are those, those uh, savant people, you know, that can pick up one thing and they're really good at? I've never met a savant marketer. I never have. I don't know if I ever will meet a savant entrepreneur. Okay, each and every single person that is very successful at online marketing has had a coach. They've had training. They've had something. Kathleen, exactly what you said, my dear. You can sit there and you can swim the deep end and you can go through all the years of struggling and stuff or you can get coaching and bypass all of that crap. There's a bad word but listen, you can get rid of all of that stuff. I could have spent years trying to keep up with everybody else that I met at the live event. Thankfully, Jeremy took me under his wing and let me learn from all the mistakes he made which is why I can sit here after three and a half, four months and be exactly where I'm at today only because I kind of had coaching from Jeremy. I know the secret. He knows it. Kathleen gets it now. So now we're putting it all together in order to help other people as well. So one more thing, Kathleen, here's the cool part. Because of everything you've learned, because of the online success you're now having, I see you as a coach now. You are leagues above other people. They're looking at you now, looking at the sale you made, going, oh my gosh, Kathleen Packard. Dang, that girl, what she know what she's doing? You are going to see. No, you're, I'm telling you, it's only a matter of time now before... Jeremy's going to nod yes before you start making your own products. You know, before you start teaching and coaching other people, this is where your greatest success is going to come from. It's not just from regurgitating doing what we're doing today because you're going to grow exponentially. You're going to keep giving back and you understand how important it is now, you know, to take the time to say, you know what, I'll get a little bit of coaching from a couple of guys that know what they're doing. Absolutely, I'll do that. Yeah. And that's exactly, you're the exact reason why Jeremy are so comfortable with looking at each other every single day. And the webcam is saying, buddy, let's get cracking. Let's make this website happen. Let's get this coaching program put down on paper. We have created so much stuff the last few days. It's unbelievable. We have got so excited over your, your one cell that just like you think you're excited, Jeremy and I are absolutely <laughs> over the moon excited crazy about this because it's, it's actually helped us in a very big way. So we celebrate with you every day, Catherine. Well, 
it was so it's so funny because I was celebrating for myself, but I was celebrating you guys at the same time I was celebrating myself. I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait to, to share it because I felt I felt it was a win for you because of what you had done for me. So it it just went full circle all the way around for sure. Yeah, this is uh this is gonna be this is gonna stay with us for a very long time. And uh Jeremy and I both can't wait to share with you, you know, months from now exactly you know where it's brought us, and I—that's why I say again, you are now so close on our heels that people are going to start turning to you. We, we'll start turning to you. You won't even—it'll, you know, I won't push them in your direction. But uh, you know, I, I hope that you stay with us inside of our little secret team, our secret group, and that when we do have all the new members come in and stuff, that if there's, you know, sometimes we're not there and there's a question that pops up, you know, that's the whole point of us being a little bit of a family, right? So you can offer up some insight on things, you know. Absolutely. It's about creating leadership, and I think that's the biggest thing is when you get into the, these positions, especially once you get in, you, you humble yourself. That's the way I like to see it because Kathleen knew a lot of stuff, and she probably mm -hmm. knows more about certain things than I do, and Steve mm -hmm. does, Agreed. but it's this thing where you humble yourself and say, you know, I do, I don't need help. I need guidance. There's a big difference. She didn't have her hand out saying, "Help me up." She's saying, "You know, can I walk with you? Can can I can I get on that path with you? Not push me, take me, set me in the mm -hmm. golden throne. It's I want to walk this out, and I want to do what you're doing, and I want to go where you're going. And to me, that screams leadership. So for anybody here that is that is following Kathleen Packard, and you're sitting here. And you're seeing what she's offering, and we're going to talk about it. I'm going to do it again. I'm sorry. But if you're looking at the Internet Lifestyle Network and you are following Kathleen Packard, you've got yourself a phenomenal leader because she does care about what's going on. She does care about where she's going, and that's what you need in a leader. Steve and I, we're just secondary to what she already knew. We're secondary to what she's already doing. It's just that extra push. And when you have leadership that's willing to invest in more leadership, you know you got something special. That was perfect. I nailed that one. See, sometimes I can get this thing going. <laughs> I'm like, please work. Oh, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, and it, it's unbelievable. That's huge success. How many cells... In other opportunities, have you made altogether? <laughs> nothing that you would, uh, you know. We're talking like a couple of dollars here or there. Nothing, nothing that, nothing that really got your 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 inner thing flowing because, you know, ninety six cents doesn't <laughs> help you make it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so people listen to what this woman is giving you. <laughs> this lady is giving you what you know what most of you are going through, where we've all been, and I know this is blurry, I'm working on my webcam, but you know, this is how you get to success. You you hustle and you bustle and you bust your butt and you lose. You know? But instead of laying down and crying, laying uh, rolling over and just dying, the woman got up and said, If I'm gonna do this, I need to invest in my knowledge. And the one thing that I know about ILN and the Internet Lifestyle Network is that's the main focus. That's why Steve and I mesh so well with this company because the leadership that they are, the community that is set in stone here, is what is building us over here. And it's just one big whirlwind of love. And just the amount of community that you can get out of this but that's the that's the the breath that we're breathing here is knowledge is power but you need to take action action is key to anything in success and it doesn't matter if you suck as long as you can consecutively suck and you <laughs> ruin about sucking there's going to be somebody that sucks worse than you it's going to be like man you suck but you're better at sucking than I am so teach me what you're doing yeah <laughs> 
I think the best thing, Jeremy, we can tell people too is that we, we try something new with Kathleen as well is that we kind of let her direct us towards where she needed the most work because, you know, you can bring a whole group of people into a group, but if you don't know where to start, it's it's pointless. So Jeremy and I have, have got plans now that we're going to literally cater all kinds of assistance specifically to people exactly where you're at in your marketing. So Kathleen walked in her at a fantastic level. Okay, She was already what I call quite well established in the community, right? She knew where she was going, needed that extra little push in the right direction. We gave her that right direction. Now I can literally walk a basic newbie from day one. I can personally comfortably do that. Walk them in through the first few weeks of our program easily before Jeremy needs to take over. That's where I'm at now. So I, I'm gracious to Jeremy for giving me that knowledge to be able to sit back and tell people you know, broad shouldered that I am now comfortable enough to tell you guys I can lead you easily through the first few weeks to get you where you need to be. I've got leadership, guidance, all kinds of confidence to do that. Jeremy's, you know, the, the peak tweaker who's going to fine tune all kinds of the more, you know, senior academic advanced level stuff. But that's the open invite that's going to be here today is to let people know that uh, we are offering up this program. We're going to be catering it just like we did with Kathleen. So we gave Kathleen the chance to fill out, uh, it was like a, a questionnaire kind of thing that, that really let us know and she was super detailed. That's the number one thing we're going to tell people. Follow her example. She was so detailed that we knew exactly how to help her out. That saved her time, saved her money, saved us all kinds of heartache and money. And we didn't need to work very hard to find exactly where she needed to focus. So that is the deal, guys. We are, are coming up with a fantastic training, coaching, leadership program. It's going to give you guys everything from ground zero to hero. It's going to get you guys there in a matter of time. Now, once we get this whole thing rocking and rolling, Jeremy, I'm very excited, but i got to tell you this. Every week we start talking about how further we're getting. We are really right there at the cusp, ready to launch this thing. So we're going to keep everybody, friends, family, everybody updated. Kathleen, too. Uh, when we <laughs> launch the whole website, which has already kind of started up and run, we've already started training video programs. We've done all kinds of stuff. So we are almost there, guys. We are almost ready to launch this thing, and when we do... Oh my gosh, my cheeks are going to hurt again. I got chicklets <laughs> sprouting out of every corner of my face. I get so excited about this. It's incredible. Since we're talking about it, okay. you you all must know, the viewers that I see that are watching and the ones who will come back, that straight above you, you're looking at our brand new website. Now, I'm still fixing a lot of the coding and structure and errors at Nerd Talk, but I'm still fixing a lot of things, but we are actually on our new website. I see two sexy men up here that are just ready to bust it out and rock this world with you. And I want you to understand what we're talking about training courses here is literally taking you from infancy to grown up, okay? From not knowing anything to being to knowing what we're doing and where we are. All right. And there's a little bit more detail into that, but that's that's pretty much a simplicity answer. We are literally gonna actually take you from becoming a biz nut into making big chips. Boom! Buzzing <laughs> I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. Stop <laughs> me. Put a fork in me. I'm done. Um, so, Kathleen, I do want I, I do want you to talk about one more thing. Yes. You were talking about a book you were reading, and this is a very good book. And and I'll let you talk about because I think a lot of people need to add this to the repertoire. But you were telling us about a book and the stuff you were getting out of. I would love for you to share with us and Internet World about this book and your your take on it. I have been uh, I have it on audio, so which is what I like to do a lot is uh, it's Psycho Cybernetics by uh, Dan Kennedy and Maxwell uh, Marat. I think that's it. He, he was an MD, and it's uh, they talk about success. And everything that you do, you have to reach back to that feeling of having success, no matter how small or how big, but success builds upon success. And the, th the thing for me was I had that morning success of that feeling of just getting that first cha-ching. And I was really excited about that because I knew that this community was, that was just this, the ground breakup. By afternoon, I was so elated, I couldn't sit still. I mean, that success feeling just was was all over. I was just dancing and, and you know, your insides are all pumped up and you, you just want to tell the world. I saw pom-poms. <laughs> That's right, and I had pom-poms. 
see it. <laughs> <laughs> so now that's the feeling that I hold on to. I think that that feeling, if, if I feel a day when it's like, oh, can you know, what am I gonna do to 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 um put out more value today or whatever, I reach back for, for that feeling that I felt last Thursday and that that just you know that just grows. I just know that that is going to explode into even more now. It can't help but but to. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. It once it starts, and I'm uh, proof positive of that. Once it, once it begins, it just it keeps happening, and it keeps happening. And and you start finding the strangest ways to find great accomplishments in each and every day. So for me, it's not necessarily about the monetary value. I don't need you know a thousand dollar sale every single day to make me wake up and go, oh, what am I going to get cracking on today? It's the fact that you're so excited, you're so charismatic, and you've got that drive, that motivation and to, to work every day that you are now understanding the fact that it's consistency that does it, right? It's not, you know, I, I kind of equate it to uh, maybe a kid that learns to ride a bicycle. Every kid wants to ride a bike so bad, but they can't just hop on the very first day and ride. They've got to practice and practice and practice. So once they get there, right, that's the satisfaction. But you've got to practice. You've got to put in all those days, those trial and effort work. You've got to make all of that effort in order to get to that spot. And that's what you do. Even the days that you don't make a sale, you sit back and you go, you know what? I'm practicing. I'm working. I'm riding today. I'm getting there. You know, and every single day that you do make a sale, no matter how small, no matter how big, you know, huge congratulations to you because when you think about it, when you think about us sitting in our, in our homes, in our offices, tapping the chiclets on our keyboard, using the internet, whatever, to generate an income, to me, it's it's complete and utter magic. It's it's still it's still hard to grasp that it's real. You know, uh, but, but it is. I don't understand how it is, but it is. So the fact that you made like almost you know a grand by just putting some effort, putting yourself out there, so people could say, Kathleen, I need to follow that woman. She is guiding me. I need to. I want to be on her side. I want her to to uh, bring me down the path of happiness. You know, wealth and well being. And you did that. And you and it came back to fruition. You you ended up making money from doing that. So if we can, you know, if we can work on this every single day together, like. This is going to be just. This is going to be huge. This could be like life changing for everybody, and not just from a monetary value, but for the fact that we're all smiling and we're feeling exactly. fantastic. Exactly. Exactly. I think the the biggest thing people need to understand, and I I do have to say this legally, okay, so that we understand because we have thrown numbers out there. Mm -hmm. Nothing that we talk about is guaranteed. There is no guarantee in life. There is no guarantee in business. You are not guaranteed to pull the numbers that she has just pulled. There's no there's no way to guarantee that. But common sense tells you that if you listen to stuff that Kathleen will teach you, if you listen to stuff that we will teach you, whoever you're with, if you follow the guidelines and you take massive action, you're going to see success. And that's just period, point blank, and how it is. But the one thing that I notice a lot, a lot of people, and I'm going to go back to what Kathleen said a minute ago, it was only 96 cents, so it's not nothing to, you know, it's nothing to speak about. But it was a, a positive outcome. And the one thing that I, I like to stress to people, especially if you join me personally, is like I tell them, take, if you get a sign-up or an opt-in to your list, bask in that. Rejoice that you got a sign up because you did something right. You got an outcome. Everything about your life is success unless you lay down and die and then it becomes failure because every single thing you do has an outcome. Mm -hmm. So it's what it's the outcomes that you don't like that make you feel like you're a failure, but you got to learn to take this, move it over here to this side. What was it I did that was wrong? What can I tweak? What can I alter? How can I get from this half an A or little A to a big A? Mm -hmm. You know, how do I get the capital letters all the way across? And it's it's learning how to change your outcomes. Steve is successful because he's trying thousands of different ways to market something. And when he hits something or something works, he's like, okay, I know what works. Absolutely right. Yeah. It's like link tracking. It's like anything. You, you, you throw an ad out there and you figure out, is this actually making sense to somebody? 
Is anybody looking? Are they clicking in? Are they wanting to hear more about this? If it's no, it's not the program. It's you. You got to alter what you did. Okay. Well, this one was too short, or this one sounded too pitchy, or you you got to keep tweaking. If this doesn't work, alter it. If this doesn't work, alter it. If this doesn't work, alter it until you have success. And then you're on the right path. I'm going to hold you right here in between my hands, okay? Until you have success, keep changing until you get success, okay? okay. That's just simple, simple things. Yeah. And uh, shout out to Santi Renteria. Thank you for watching this like art. <laughs> all right, guys. So listen, we could we could probably sit here all day and chit chat about our great successes, but I I want to uh, I want to wrap this up soon, Jeremy, so we can get back to working and doing what we do best, buddy. But I, listen, before before we do wrap up, let me say this: Kathleen was so excited so excited when she made that sale that I want to remind her and Jeremy and myself and everybody out there to don't get complacent when it comes to staying inside that moment of happiness. Remember when you made that sale, how excited and happy you were? When you make another one, Kathleen, that shouldn't take anything away from that first one or the one that you just made as well. You should be just as happy each and every single time. Like Jeremy said, you know, uh, you know, take Take each and every single opt-in. Every person asks you a question, you know, and be just overwhelmed and joy for yourself. You know, everything that you've accomplished to get there, because that's a really big deal. You did fantastic. We're so proud of you. But always keep that in the back of your mind, no matter how. If you ever tell you make, you know, hundred dollars, a hundred dollars, thousand, a thousand, ten thousand, they're all marvelous, fantastic achievements. They're all something that you did because of the effort you put in. And that's all we want from people is to come join us, put in the effort, and you will. Get exactly out of it everything you put into it. That Absolutely. I can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You. The best way I can tell you, this is what I've done, and I got an imaginary bag of crap, an imaginary bag of good. I fill this imaginary bag of crap with everything bad, every bad thought, every anger driven something, and I take it out to the side of the curb and I dump it off for the garbage man to pick up. This bag of good over here, I sit here and look at it. I rejoice in things that happened to me a while ago. And looks like Steve is frozen, lost power. Uh -oh. But he's still frozen on the screen, so that works for a minute. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, I, I rejoice in the good. And I always remember that. You know, so especially for you, Kathleen, you've got something monumental to sit here and bask on it. But to anybody watching, take your sales that you've made, take your opt-ins that you've got on a list. If you've built a list, if not, you need to get with one of us and let, let us teach you how to build a list. We've got some tools to help you do that. But it's trying to get yourself that, sorry, Steve's, <laughs> this ADD is killing me here and he's keeps dinging me. I think he's coming back. But you know, remember these good things that you have going on. Remember the things that you have. Remember the good things so when you get down, I get down. I beat on myself all the time because I'll do something or I'll lose my cool with somebody or someone pushed me to that edge and I'm just like, you know, F you and I'm going off and then I feel bad because that's not me and that's not who I am as a marketer person anything so when you push me to that level you know but I have to sit back and I start beating myself down and I look at this bag of joy I look at pictures of my kids I look at pictures of my wife I look at pictures of Steve you know as my partner in crime over here and I and I rejoice in in his wife and his daughter and it, it it juices me up, and I always remember when I get down of all the good that I've done when I was up, and that helps remind me that I need to stay up. You always need to stay up, because if you're down, people are going to see you're down. Steve's the only one that ever sees me down. I, I try. I don't tell nobody anything, so when I'm down, you know, because all summer long we've had rain. We've had flooding. I've lost my computer. I've lost my monitor. You know, I've, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff I've lost. 
And I, you get to this point where you just want to call it quits. You want to walk away. No matter how much money you're making, you just you, you get to that point sometimes. But it's do you let it overtake you? Right. Yeah. And 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 that's the point. If I laid down and thought about every bad thing that's happened to me, if Steve laid down and thought about every bad thing that's happening to him, oh, we man. could easily <laughs> lay down and die. Yeah. yeah, brother, I'm probably the one guy who, who you could say, man, I, I could have laid down and died a long time ago <laughs> if I didn't have you, people like Kathleen, the community we have with the Internet Lifestyle Network. I mean, everything. I've, I've overcome. I personally am, am proud to, to take a spot on a podium somewhere in the world, grab a big microphone with a lot of wattage, and say I have survived a whole ton of stuff this year. I mean, I've walked through many life life-changing things this past year that probably could have just ended me literally. I mean, I, I, at any point I could have just given up, you know. This is not the show to get into that. I mean, like I'm de- today, that's the what, the fourth power outage I've had today, Jeremy, between you and I, we've been trying to do this show and I keep popping off. That's the fourth power outage, but man, I'm just grinding away. I'm not quitting, man. I'm not Hanging even close with it. to giving up. You never quit, never surrender, and that's that's the motto of business chips. You know, that's just who we are and where we are. It doesn't matter what comes against you. Everything happens for a reason. It mm-hmm. happens for a purpose. And although there's a lot of bad and not, you know, not diving into Steve's stuff, but a lot of stuff that Steve's going through, to me, is such a blessing. And people, and I was taught, you know, saying something about it the other day to somebody, and they're like, well, him having cancer is a blessing to you? And I'm like... Well, yeah, in a way, because had he not gotten this this temporary sickness, he wouldn't be here with me. Right. No, and I'd be like, back overseas, I, deployed. And we would have had that blessing. Yeah. You know, it is. It is. People say, man, it's so terrible. I feel so bad. I wouldn't want it any other way. I would not have changed the last year for one split second. Do you have any idea how much I've grown as a man, as a husband? As a fantastic father, I have such a greater appreciation for every single split second I have on this planet right now than I ever have in the past 40 years of my life. Not that I'm ashamed to look back on my past, but I took so much for granted, absolutely so much for granted, and that's what makes us a tight community of people. That's why we can sit here gratefully and thank one another for everything that we do for each other and why we're all going to be very prosperous because we have that kind of that mindset, that leadership where we all understand that we've been from a really crummy place in the past, we've overcome everything, and we've all rejoiced in the great blessings that we have today, which is one another. And all we want to do is share that and give it right back out to the people out there. No, Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Kathleen, any, any last words you want to share with the people? I just want to say thank you to the both of you from the bottom of my heart and I am just looking forward to passing it on, I'm just paying it forward for, for what I have been given. Just, it's, it's a blessing. And a big team you will build for doing that. So, guys, this is uh, September 26, 2013, the Biz Nut and Big Chip Show, located at bizandchips.com. And if you want to watch us live every Thursday, we may have to keep changing the time around depending on what's going on. But that's cool. We're still going to do it between the 2 3 o'clock time. But live show is businesschips.com forward slash live. And that's where you will always see the recap of this show as well as the Business Chips channel on YouTube. So for our superstar, Kathleen Packard, for the BizNut Steve Barnes, I am Big Chips and one love, people. Make it a great day. I dare you. Let's get a three-way fist bump going on. Woo. There we go. Go up to your camera, Kathleen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> awesome. So, guys, that's it. Make it a good day.